Which is the better club to have in your bag? Is it the hybrid or is it the long iron? It's a difficult choice because I hit bad shots with both of these clubs. The hybrid goes left and the two iron can just be hard to hit. So I'm gonna put both of these clubs through their paces. I'm gonna hit a lot of shots here in the simulator room, collecting a ton of data with my FlightScope Mevo Plus. That's gonna give me an indication about which club is probably best. And then I'm gonna take these clubs out onto the golf course to see how they fare hitting some tee shots. And ultimately it's my tee shots that are letting me down and I need another option off the tee for when my drivers just eluded me. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, what's the actual difference between these two clubs? Straight off the bat, you can see the size difference between these two. The hybrid looks so much bigger behind the golf ball. The head is shaped a little bit like a wood, like a three wood or a driver, obviously much smaller than these clubs. But the crown of the golf club and the fact that it comes back so far just oozes hit me. But when it comes to the iron, the lack of loft seems a bit scary compared to when it was the hybrid. That didn't really phase me. The sort of width of the face looks smaller as well. So from the heel to the toe, it just looks like a smaller surface area to hit. This particular two iron though, the King Utility by Cobra, has a fairly sort of thick back to it. I can just about see the back of golf club, which adds a little bit of confidence compared to like a bladed five iron, for example. But yeah, just confidence behind the golf ball has to go to the hybrid, I think. This just looks daunting. The confidence inspiring head shape doesn't change there either. The crown shape of the hybrid is weighted more towards the toe. The weight leaning more towards the toe is gonna to help the average golfer draw this club a bit more often, or at least reduce the slice. I'm moving to the bottom of this particular club, the TaylorMade Sim Max. We have a smooth and wide sole to the club, which is gonna make this particular club easier to hit through the rough. And I have found that the hybrid is a much easier club to hit out of the rough compared to the two iron. Although there's a lot of weight at the bottom of this two iron to help the ball get up into the air, that's about it when it comes to help. The sole isn't very wide and the bottom edge of this golf club just feels a little bit sharper. There isn't gonna be a lot of forgiveness for fat shots with this club. Now, quite frankly, as a mid handicap golfer, I don't think I've got the ability to hit this two iron out of the rough too often, maybe even not off a fairway. The lack of forgiveness in the sole of this club it's just a little bit scary for me. Like I said in the intro though, my issue is with tee shots. I wanna figure out which one I can take onto the golf course and hit more fairways with. All right then, enough chat. It's time to hit some golf balls. I'm gonna hit 20 shots with each club off the tee and let's figure out what's what. What's the actual performance difference between these two clubs? Good one to start. Right then, results are in, and there's a couple of surprises here. First things first, I had to try and match these golf clubs up a little bit better. First of all, the standard loft for that two iron is 17 and a half degrees, so I increased the loft to 18 and a half, and the hybrid is 19 degrees, so that's as close as I could get it. On top of that, the hybrid has a graphite shaft compared to a steel shaft in the two iron. 
the shaft is also longer with the hybrid. So I had to swing the hybrid a little bit slower to match up the club head speed with the two iron. That way I'm sort of comparing apples with apples. So with all that said, the club head speed between these two clubs was about 94, 95 miles per hour. And perhaps as you'd expect, the ball speed was higher with the hybrid. The ball speed with the hybrid was 137 miles an hour compared to the two iron at 132 miles an hour. Now you would kind of expect that. The club head with the hybrid is hollow and it's got a very reactive face. So the smash factor was always going to be higher with the hybrid than it was with the two iron. And that extra speed also translated into distance. The hybrid carrying 215 yards off the tee compared to the two iron at 206 yards. And the rollout between the two clubs is exactly the same at 15 yards. So the total distance, 230 yards with the hybrid and 221 yards with the two iron. Now distance isn't exactly what I was looking for with this club. I wanted a club that was more forgiving off the tee. I mentioned that the problem I have with my hybrid is that I go left with it. And during this testing, that's exactly what happened. My miss with the hybrid was 15 yards left on average compared to one yard left with the two iron. Now I wanted to try and understand why my hybrid was going so far left. It's something that a lot of people struggle with hybrids. And that's why some of these people carry irons instead of hybrids. But why do people suffer with the left problem with hybrids? Well, first thing I looked at was face angle. So this is the angle of my club face compared to my target line. With the hybrid, we were at 3.2 degrees closed, so pointing to the left. And with the iron, it was 1.3 degrees closed, also pointing to the left. Now, it doesn't sound like a huge amount, but that is a big difference. Two degrees different at the ball is a huge difference down the fairway. 14 yards different, apparently. And I know my problem was face control because my club path with the two clubs were basically exactly the same. I wasn't coming more over the top with the hybrid and just sending it left. The club path with both of them was pretty much exactly the same. So for some reason, when I'm coming in to hit the golf ball, I'm just closing the face down a little bit more with the hybrid. And perhaps that's something a lot of you struggle with as well. Now to analyze all this data, I use an app called Golf Shot Analytics. And this app provides a huge amount of insight into your data. All you need to do is upload the data to the platform and then let the app do the rest. And they've got this stat on there called percentage error index, which I've interpreted as a forgiveness stat. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But for me, it feels like this is a forgiveness stat. And, and the two iron came out on top here with a 4.5% error index compared to the hybrid at 7.6% error index. So what this data is telling me is that the two iron is actually more forgiving, which is interesting. I didn't think I had the ability to be hitting a two iron well, to be honest. But the forgiveness actually shows up in the dispersion. The dispersion with the two iron is much tighter compared to the hybrid. Front and back, very similar dispersion, but left and right, it was much tighter. So yeah, quite interesting. I didn't think the iron would be more forgiving than the hybrid. I knew that I'd probably hit the iron straighter, but I didn't think that the dispersion with the two iron would be better than the hybrid. But it's all well and good getting data in a simulator. The real test is outdoors on the golf course. So I hopped over to the stunning Spalding Golf Club. I wanted to put these golf clubs through their paces in real world situations. So I played six holes. I hit a tee shot with each club. And we're going to find out who comes out on top. It was a bit cold. It was a bit windy, but the sun came out. And do you know what? It was just a nice, relaxing few holes of golf.
know what? There's nothing better than a bit of dusk golf in Lincolnshire. What a nice, relaxing few holes of golf. But we don't care about how relaxing it was. Which club was better? Now, there wasn't a huge amount to pick between the two of these out on the golf course. I hit a couple of bad shots with both clubs, and the better dispersion with the two iron in here didn't translate out onto the golf course. I hit one miles left and I hit one miles right. But if I'm honest, considering my skill level right now, as a nine or 10 handicap golfer, I think the hybrid is probably better off being in my bag. It goes a little bit further. It's a bit more versatile when it comes to hitting shots out of the rough. And there's so much more forgiveness across the face. But I do have to figure out how to stop hitting it so far left. On hole five, that tee shot was in no man's land. But my advice to anyone watching this video is to have a go with both. Because you might find hybrids harder to hit. You might think that they fly too high with too much spin. The two iron definitely had a lower trajectory, which in the summer might be more advantageous. See, this is how annoying this debate is. I'm making bloody arguments for both of them. Go and give them both a go. If you're a mid handicap golfer like me, you're probably gonna lean more towards the hybrid. More versatile, a bit easier to hit in my opinion. If you're a lower handicap than me, maybe you're gonna strike the two iron better and, and you need to get that left shot out of your bag. And the two iron's probably gonna be the fix for you. But either way, go to your local pro and have a go with some clubs. Guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this whole video. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I might be over a thousand subscribers by now, I'm not sure, but if I'm not, help me. I'm trying to put content out every week that helps mid-handicap golfers learn more about the game and get better. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and have a look at the other videos I've got on my channel. It might just be something to help you lower your handicap. But for now, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.